Welcome to the grid by Richard Wiseman. Now what we have here is a deck of number cards. I'm just going to show you some. And I want you to take these few cards and I want you to give them a shuffling so we don't know where any of the numbers are. So the spectator gives the cards a shuffling. And then you say to them, when you finish shuffling the cards, what I want you to do is I want you to spread the cards out on the table in front here. Okay? The spectator gives the cards a good shuffling so we don't know where any of the cards are. And I spread them out in front of them. Then you say to them, I want you to point to one of the cards and push it forward without looking at it. But I've got a spectator, but if you was here you could freely select a card. It's important that you know that. But what I'm going to do to make it all found above board, I'm going to use this eight sided dice and we're going to count to a, a random card. And we'll be counting this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hence the eight sided dice. Now I'm going to shake this dice three times to prove it's throwing random numbers on the third row so the number we'll use to, the, to count to the selected card. So here we go. We've got a 1, a 5, and a 6. And I'm going to show you that it is a 6. It's only an 8 sided dice so it can't be a 9 and there is a dot at the bottom. So we're going to count 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to slide this card forward. Now, it's important that you know it's a completely free choice, you want to change your mind. Or, or, or do you want to stick with this card? You want to stick with this card, okay then. We'll just place these on one side. And this is the card you chose. I don't want you to look at it yet. Because I'm just going to show you a few more cards. Just to show that they are different numbers, okay? Just show you a few more. Like so. Now, do you want to change your mind or stick with that? You're going to stick with that card. Okay. I don't need to look at it yet because I'm going to deal out four hands of cards with four cards in each. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put four cards in each pile. Now we don't know what numbers on this card but I want you to use your own intuition, choose one of these packets and when these packets are added up which one you think would come closest to this card here. Just use your own intuition. So they go for this packet here, okay? So I'm just going to spread these cards out on the table so we can add them up. So just bear with me a minute. So we've got a 10 and a 5 which is 15. And we've got this 16 here which gives us uh, 31 and this 3 here gives us 34. Let's just have a look at the card. And it is 34. How amazing is that? Now let's just have a look if you did chose any one of these other packets. Let's just spread them out so we can add them up. We've got 19 here, okay. And we've got um, 15 here, okay, and 19, which gives us 34. How amazing is that? Let's just um, have a look at this packet here. And just spread these out. We've got a 7 and a 1, which is 8, added to 12 gives us uh, 20 and this 14 here gives us 13, 34 okay another coincidence let's just have a look at this one I'm just going to reckon these up we got 8 and a 2 which is 10 and we got this uh, 13 and 11 gives us 24 that's 34 another amazing coincidence Okay, now I've noticed something really weird here because if you have a look at the rowers, we've got a, an 8 and a 1 here, which is 9, and this 11 gives us 20, and this 14 here gives us 34. And if we look at all the rows, we've got a 13, 2, 7, and a 12 gives us 34. We've got a, a 3, 16, 9, and 6 gives us 34. We've got 5, 15, and 19 
and this 15 here gives us 34 how weird is that now if you look at the columns these add up the same as well we've got a 10 a 3 a 13 and an 8 which gives us 34 and the next row 11 2 16 and 5 gives us 34 we've got a, a 4 a 9 a 7 and 14 gives us 34 we've got a 15 and this 6 here gives us 21 and this 12 here gives us 33 and this one here gives us 34 if you look at all four corners we've got a 10 and a 15 which gives us 25 and this 8 here gives us 33 and this one here gives us 34 now if you look at the diagonals we've got an 8, a 2, a 9 and 15 gives us 34 we've got a 10, 16, 17 7 should say and a 1 gives us 34 even the pan diagonals which are these we've got an 11 and a 13 is, is 24 and this 4 and a 6 is 10 gives us 34 and the same over here we've got 14, 12, 3 and 5 that gives us 34 even the four centre cards we've got a 2, 7, 16 and 9 gives us 34 now you could have chose any of these cards but you chose this 34 here you could have had any of these but you chose this card here and the weirdest thing is I had this premonition last night and I wrote it on the back of these cards shall we just have a look I'm just going to flip them over and it says I think you will select the number 34 I think you will select the number 34 this is a fantastic trick I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching All right, how about we cut the pack, huh?